ergo canto, which could be translated to Therefore We Sing, are a duo from the Boston Metro West area and consist of Paul Beck and Leslie Bryant. <laughs> They perform original songs and traditional songs as well. Paul began songwriting uh, during the college years. Uh, he says one day when he picked up a guitar and just kept going. He is now a retired software designer and he spends his time learning songs of the past and writing his own new ones and also plays guitar, mandolin, banjo, and citron. Leslie, uh, began when she joined, began to perform and sing out when she joined a Wednesday night sing party. She works as a speech therapist uh, in the Boston Public Schools and she's also been involved in sponsoring music education program for disadvantaged children in Peru. Leslie, in addition to singing, plays the flute, fiddle, and harmonica. Ergo Canto has, they have uh, two CDs out and they're working on their third right now for a soon release. And when I ask them why share your songs, why do we share our songs with community, Paul said it helps people to connect. And Leslie said, I like it when people sing together and that can only happen if there is shared knowledge of songs, a common repertoire. So here to share their songs with us this morning, we have Ergo Canto. Please give them another hand. Thank you. Okay, we're going to start off uh, with a song that we wrote. Uh, we've written a number of songs for songwriting competitions, and uh, this was actually one of them. That's all I'll say. <laughs> ball and chain How long you been dragging around that high class ball and chain I'm gonna slow down the walking cause friend you're looking lame How long you been wearing that high class ball and chain How long you been living in that high class prison cell How long has that warden been clanging that dinner bell Four squares a day, but man, you look like hell. How long you been living in that high-class prison cell? How long has that hound dog been chasing you down? How long has that dog been dragging you to the ground? You think you're hiding, but buddy, you've been found. How long has that hound dog been chasing you down? been feeding you booze and crack you gotta grab that monkey toss him in the sack how long you been letting that monkey ride on your back so grab that monkey toss him in the sack how long you been letting that monkey ride on your back Now for something completely different from that. Yeah, it couldn't be more different. Going into some traditional music. 
one that I learned from uh, the singing of John Jacob Niles. And you've all heard some variations of this. I don't know. I hadn't until I met you. Oh, well. Uh -huh. Black, black, black is the color of my true love's hair. Her lips are like some roses fair. The purest eyes and the neatest hands. I love the ground whereon she stands. I know my love, and well she knows. I love the grass whereon she goes, and if she No more I see My life will quickly fade away I now go to Clyde To mourn and weep But satisfied I never can sleep, so I'll write to you in a few short lines. I'll suffer death ten thousand times. Some roses fair, the purest eyes and the neatest hand. I love the ground whereon she stands. As I said, the, uh, we've written a number of songs that were um, inspired by a uh, music or songwriting challenge. This one, I think we finally finished about four months after the challenge was over. <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, the challenge was to write a song having to do with uh, including the name of a bar or a pub or something along those lines, which has relatively little to do with the song that we wrote. Jesus, the Buddha, Mohammed walk into a bar. The Good Shepherd, the Lotus Blossom, the Moon and the Star. 
The bartender said, oh, my friend, this refuge is free. Come lay down your burdens and sit, and I hope you'll agree to give us your wisdom and vision. The drinks are on me. And Jesus spoke first as he finished his goblet of wine. I came bringing peace to the world. Was that such a crime? But the way that they tell it, it's just like I carried a gun. Oh, why must they use me this way, like father, like son? The bartender bowed his head, poured out more tea. Have another glass of wine. None but the eternal jester knows the punchline. Muhammad was next, and he set down his teacup to say, Five pillars I gave my believers to show them the way. Believing and praying and giving the fast and the hard. But the killing of innocence isn't the high road to God. The bartender poured out more tea with a hint of a nod. Have another cup of tea, sure you've got the time. None but the eternal jester knows the punchline. He spoke in a voice pure as light. I am not a saint that you worship, that wouldn't be right. Wisdom, compassion, the four noble truths are the goal. But I am not a god, I am human, I am you, I am all. The bartender bowed his head as he made the last call. Have another glass of water so pure and so fine. None but the eternal jester knows the punchline. Jesus, the Buddha, Mohammed walk into a bar. Alert to the um, control room, I'm about to unplug here and exchange instruments. Hopefully, hopefully I actually remember the words of this song. Changing instruments here because we've got a very unique flute that plays along with this, which doesn't quite do 440. Um, and uh, this song is one that Leslie put together um, based on, well, why don't you introduce it as far as the, you know, the, oh. the background. <laughs> oh, well, oh, this I think came out of another song challenge. I think we were supposed to write something. This came out around, what, Martin Luther King yeah. Day, and we were supposed to write a song that... Uh, 
had something to do with some sort of uh, social activism. And um, I, as part of my uh, project in Peru, I subscribed to National Geographic magazine in Spanish. And, um, and there on the cover was uh, uh, something or other about the destruction of the um, indigenous cultures of the Amazon. So that's, this kind of came out of that. Okay. And the other comment is uh, we don't actually have a countdown timer on the monitor there, but this is our last song. <laughs> and waste But who takes the time to question the taste of fruit now planted where towering trees once grew The charred remains of an Eden mourned by a powerless few cut down a tree no wonder put your ear to the ground you'll hear only thunder their language disappears But who takes the time to answer the fears of the quiet ones whose land now stripped away? Who needs words for what was lost, how to speak of yesterday? Cut down a tree, there is no wonder, put your ear to the ground. Thunder, cut down the tree, pierce the heart of the condor. You can't buy my praise when you only squander the treasures of the earth, they cleave to the place of their birth. Down a tree, hear the thunder. The jungle lies in waste. But who takes the time to question the taste of fruit now planted where towering trees once grew? The charred remains of an Eden mourned by a powerless few cut down a tree. There is no wonder put your ear to the ground.
you. Thank you very much. History lesson. He turned onto State Line Avenue, and even though he hadn't been back since Mom and Dad moved to Scottsdale, he still knew the streets from all the Thursday mornings when he had flung the Lansing Journal onto doorsteps. The Schultzes, the Farleys, the two bachelors on the corner of Wentworth and Jackson, and the rest of the neighborhood around Calvin Coolidge School. He hoped he'd find an open door so he could walk around the halls and chuckle at how tiny the desks looked and how low the urinals were. The blackboards were probably all whiteboards by now, but maybe the smell of encyclopedias and radiator heat would linger. He tried the big door. Yes, open. Hello, young man said the small, ancient woman with chalk in her voice. Miss Mills? No forgetting that nose. Why, yes, and, and who were you? A Brinkman, Richard? No, Douglas. He gasped at her recognition and then gasped again. It wasn't a school at all anymore. Oh no, not for years, said Miss Mills. The building is now the Lansing Historical Center. <laughs> she showed him the room where his grandmother's 1930s Singer sewing machine was on display. A dressmaker's dummy wore a bridesmaid's dress she had made for his sister. A picture of his grandmother was included in the placard with no mention of how she had died alone at the bottom of the stairs in the house on William Street, or how she'd forgotten all the manners that had been so important to her and started swearing a blue streak and peeing in her pants, but she wouldn't leave the house. His head hurt from trying hard not to cry in front of Miss Mills. He checked his watch. Oh, well, look at the time, and he thanked Miss Mills without even stopping at the boys' bathroom. He stuffed a few dollars in the box marked, Preserve Our Memories, and he bolted out the door. He gripped the steering wheel of his rental car, wishing for all the world that it was his old green bicycle with the saddlebags stuffed with fresh, tightly folded newspapers back when everything was new. And then he did cry some. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Passing through twilight, I'm awed by the truth of it. Reading the tea leaves, I'm still in the thick of it. <coughs> Quoting Tom Paine, just for the hell of it. Saw an old stone wall and yearned for its history. Saw an old gravestone and eyed it suspiciously. Saw a scarecrow in a field who says he's looking out for me. Saw the knave of hearts on his way to the bakery. Heard Orbison crying from a caddy convertible. Heard Berlioz in a belfry ringing out the fantastical. Heard the foreman of the jury say, guilty as usual. <laughs> Heard the guide on a ghost tour say, don't sweat the ethereal. Felt the wind in my fate as I set free my anchor. Felt the tug on my shoulder, but shrugged off the danger. Felt the trust in a handshake from a stargazing stranger. Felt the warmth from a wine glass in a bittersweet boudoir. Passing through twilight, I'm awed by the truth of it. Reading the tea leaves, I'm still in the thick of it. 
Quoting Tom Waits, and hardly aware of it. Quoting Tom Thumbs Blues, and still wondering what to make of it. Quoting Tom Paine, and believing every word of it. Thank you. The sun sets west, polyphony of color imbibing, imbibing the day, reminder of bright heat that rose above Emerald Sea. And east, the moon, a cool metal disk that star scars the sky, leaving no trace, like a silent, pure future. Duality and opposite the two create this moment. From today now past and dreams yet to come, riding the thin strip that time allows. Yet between exists a unity, neither the dark nor the light, but a silence caught between them, the breath of time itself. Thank you. and pear, apricot, then 